measuring the rolling torque on the input shaft or the worm shaft of the steering gear becomes a critical factor in rebuilding. By measuring the rolling torque, we're able to determine the amount of preload on the bearings on the input shaft or the valve assembly. We're also able to measure the amount of backlash between the sector shaft and the rack piston. One of the biggest things when measuring rolling torque, it is while the di uh, dial indicator torque wrench is rotating. Uh, if I take the measurement as it starts, we call that breakout torque, and it'll be a lot higher than the torque required to keep it moving. So in order to measure the rolling torque, you'll take the dial indicator and nice and slow movements and you'll be able to determine the amount of rolling torque going into the input shaft which will of course now turn the worm shaft and of course the rack piston which will in turn cause the sector shaft to rotate.